All right, thank you so much. Well, we begin with that Channel 2 News exclusive now making national headlines. A 71 year old passenger pushed to the ground by a United Airlines worker. It's prompted a new lawsuit and lots of reaction from passengers as we head into the busy summer travel season. Kathy Hernandez live at Bush Airport for us this morning with that reaction. Kathy, good morning to you. Well, good morning. There have been a number of recent controversies just in the last couple of months, and this one is the latest that happened here at the ticket counter at Bush Intercontinental Airport. A U of H professor and passengers say United needs to reassure passengers the airline is doing what it can to make their flying experience a good one. 71-year-old Ronald Tegner has filed a lawsuit seeking more than a million dollars in damages because of what happens in this surveillance video. It shows a United Airlines customer service representative pushed Tegner to the ground back in July 2015. The video shows him unconscious on the floor, arms spread out. No employees check on him. Another passenger finally stops to help nearly a minute later. The lawsuit names United Airlines, Alejandro Anastasia, the man who pushed him, and another United employee for negligence. The suit claims this all began when Tegner asked Anastasia for a new boarding pass. Everyone agrees it has been a stressful time for the travel industry. I have empathy with everyone that works in the travel industry because of the way that they're treated by the public. Uh, I think what they should emphasize is the fact that air travel has become a little bit more adversarial for the customers mm -hmm. uh, and it is not intentional but rather it was more focused on the safety and security angle. And United sent us a statement saying Anastasia doesn't work for the airlines anymore. It adds in part, quote, the conduct shown here does not reflect our values or our commitment to treat all of our customers with respect and dignity. Anastasia was later charged with injury to an elderly person. He was given a fine and wrote a letter of apology. As for Tegner, he says he still experiences concussion-like symptoms. Coming up at 6.30, the specific steps a U of H professor says United should take to fix this problem after a number of controversies. Reporting live at Bush Airport, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Yeah, the story is certainly getting a lot of traction on social media right now. Kathy, we'll see you then. Thanks so much. In fact, dozens of you are still talking about this story right now on our Facebook page. Our exclusive surveillance video has been viewed more than 62,000 times. You can watch it, and we'd like you to leave your thoughts about this incident. The video there will also link you to the full story on our website. You can read about the 911 call later placed by the employee and read the airline's full response. You'll find it all at the top of our homepage. We also want to update.